Hi, I'm Russ of Aquarimax. Welcome to Your First Tank. This is a video series that will help you set up your first aquarium successfully. You're probably already aware that you shouldn't put fish in water straight from the tap. However, tap water is a suitable home for fish once it's been prepared properly. So today, we're going to talk first about how to get the water into your tank in the proper way, and then how to treat it to make it a suitable home for fish. To get the water from the tap to your tank, you can use a jug like this one, as long as it's free of soap or any other residues. This one previously held distilled water, so I can be confident that it's clean. It's best to use water that's somewhat close to room temperature, as water that's too hot or too cold can cause several problems, one of them being condensation on the outside glass of the aquarium, and another one is that it can take longer for the heater to adjust to it. If you're lucky enough to have someone help you fill your tank, one of you can be filling a jug at the sink, while the other is emptying the jug into the aquarium. Rather than use jugs, I use an automatic water changer device, like the one pictured here. I recommend one if you have multiple tanks, you have a large tank, or you just like to make things a little easier. I'll explain exactly how to use a water changer like this in the episode on aquarium maintenance. In order to avoid stirring up the substrate too much, you can set a plate on it, or if your hand is clean and well rinsed of soap, you can just pour it onto your hand. For now, I'm only filling up the tank about three quarters full, as I'll be adding decor to the tank shortly, which, as you might imagine, is a lot easier to do when it's not full of water. Now let's talk about the four points you need to address when preparing your water to be a suitable home for fish. The first is temperature. Fish react fairly poorly to sudden temperature changes. What might be a small change to us could be enough to injure or even kill a fish. I'll discuss more about temperature in the episode on heating. Number two is dissolved gases. Now water in the pipes is under pressure. When it leaves the pipes, tiny gas bubbles begin to form and they begin to rise to the surface where they eventually equalize. But before that has a chance to happen, if you put the fish right away in that water, those gas bubbles, some of them will form inside the fish and it can cause them injury or even kill them. This is similar to the condition known as the bends that scuba divers can get when they rise from a deep dive too quickly. And in order to avoid that, you simply let the water stay in the tank for several hours before you put the fish in. Uh, the process is speeded up if there's water movement in the tank. The third is chlorine and or chloramine. Now these chemicals are present in most tap water in small quantities to uh, pr protect us humans from bacteria. Unfortunately, even that small amount is toxic to fish. Now, you may not know whether your municipal water has chlorine or chloramine in it, but luckily, there's an easy solution. You can purchase dechlorinator at an aquarium or a pet store that will treat both chlorine and chloramine and neutralize them so that they won't hurt your fish. You can add the dechlorinator right as it's coming out of the tap or as you're adding the water to the aquarium. Here's a tip that can save you some money. I recommend using dechlorinators that only require two drops of the solution per gallon of water that you treat. There are other formulations out there that take a lot more per gallon, but why pay more? Basically, you're paying for the water that they use to dilute it. Last but not least, we're going to talk about ammonia and cycling. Now let's imagine you have an aquarium set up and you've got water that has had a chance to outgas, the temperature is suitable, and you've used dechlorinator, so there's no chlorine or chloramine to worry about. You put the fish into it, and immediately the fish is going to start excreting ammonia. And as that builds up in the water, it's going to cause a problem for the fish because ammonia is extremely toxic to fish. Now, without a way to remove that ammonia, the fish is going to poison itself over the course of a few days. Now, the best way to deal with ammonia in an aquarium situation is cycling. And basically this means that you're going to cultivate a colony of beneficial bacteria that is able to process that ammonia into other chemicals that are much less toxic for the fish. Because cycling is best accomplished in an aquarium with heating and filtration in place, and because the crucial process of cycling really deserves its own video, we'll be covering cycling in an upcoming episode. For now, just be aware that you shouldn't put any fish into your tank until the cycling process is complete. For now, those are the most important points to cover regarding adding water to your aquarium and how to prepare that water to make it suitable for fish. In the next episode, we'll focus on tips for decorating your aquarium.